uh, I think as, as humans, I think it's a human thing. Mm-hmm. We usually overwhelm ourselves with the process of starting something. Mm-hmm. We think that we need everything to align so that you start. Mm-hmm. And I think that pulls people back and they're always like, I'll do it next week. I'll do it next month. I'll do it next year. Mm-hmm. So I think that that thought mm-hmm. is, is the number one factor of you know, stopping, that's stopping you to do something. What's up everybody? Two reasons I'm particularly excited about this specific video that I'm doing today. One, yeah. I am super excited because I'm meeting up with Humphrey, a great, great photographer and good friend of mine for a few years now. So the plan for today is actually take you with me. We are going to do a bit of outdoor vlogging, see what we can see, uh, show you a bit of Nairobi, Kenya, show you a bit of Kajedo County and help you enjoy. Is it 15 minutes of your time? The second reason, and I think that's what has informed this video, I made a small purchase that I consider a lifesaver. If it's your first time here, my name is Brian Monda, a portrait and commercial photographer based in Nairobi, Kenya. I'm currently shooting on the Canon R5C and uh, I got this camera late December I think, late December 2022, so that's about 7 months. And to be honest, I haven't been actively, actively using it because I've been engaging in other things. But lately, this past month, I have been intentional about actually learning it and getting to understand it even more because it will be my it is my main camera and it's what i'll be using for very many other things that i'm particularly excited about that are in the pipelines that i'll be sharing with you hope you'll be excited about this as i am yeah the battery consumption on this camera is crazy i don't know what you experience if you've used this r5c before drop a comment on the section below let me know what you think let me know what your experience has been. I have been shooting really well and I can't really complain about it, but my biggest challenge ever since has been its consumption. Yeah. Oh, come on, focus. Yes. So, I just recently purchased this uh, Anchor power bank and oh my god, it is a life saver it's really a lifesaver now i don't really have to worry about how many batteries small lpe6 batteries i have to carry in my backpack i just need to have one that's a bit charged and can transfer the power from this into my camera and we are functioning when shooting yeah this is important to me because while i'm shooting i don't really have to worry about having if I could complete my outdoor shoots without any stress or without any worry that my but my camera will die on me and I'll not I'll not achieve what I've set myself to achieve. So having this will actually definitely eliminate that fear. That is why I'm actually really excited and I'm taking you guys outside to try this vlog style. Let's get to it. Uh, for now, let me just freshen up quickly. Uh, Humphrey will be here in about 10 15 minutes or so to pick me up. Yeah. Oh, shit, you my shoes. I think I'm at a place in life where I have been trying to 
just get inspiration from friends and other fellow photographers who really really inspire me and that's why we are outdoors today Nairobi Foyt is a great great Humphrey is a great photographer and uh, he really inspires me with his minimalism landscapes and even portrait photography when he does portrait photography in studio so today I just wanted to get some insights on how he he gets himself into the space, in, into the creative space and how he does his thing and how he spends his time as a creative. Keep it locked if this is something that will interest you. One of you mentioned on my previous uh, vlog, uh, uh, the question or the concern was how do you get to start when you don't have anything? How do you really get to motivate yourself to start when you don't have anything? Just start with what you have. Mm. What you have, I'm sure you have a smartphone. Mm -hmm. Start with that. Mm -hmm. I started with what I had. Mm -hmm. So I had a phone. Mm -hmm. And that phone is, and I'm sure everybody now has a phone. Yeah. 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 So that mm -hmm. phone is the one which I started uh, taking photos with. Mm -hmm. And I remember very well, I started this challenge, called it the 365 day challenge. So every day I need to take a photo and post it. For 365, 365 days. 365 days. So a photo every day. So that's how I got into like mm -hmm. how I grew. Mm -hmm. So I remember I did from day one till day one twenty five. At that point, um, I started getting guys calling me for shoots and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And in the process, mm -hmm. since I like I didn't have money, uh, enough money to buy a camera, it is expensive. I used to borrow uh, a, a, a friend's camera. Mm -hmm. So I go for a job, I get paid. So I used to get that money, mm -hmm. split it half to the guy who gave me the card. Yeah. His name is Ricky by the way. Shout out mm -hmm. to Ricky. Ricky! Yeah. <laughs> so that's how I got, that's how I, like my first job, that's how it landed. Mm -hmm. uh, from there, I went, started going to shoots, working with like celebs, Saudi mm -hmm. uh, and other guys. He has a good way with people. He has a good way of making friendships and interacting with people. And I think that's for portrait photography, that's really necessary. Having a rapport or creating a, a rapport with people, being, being some sort of good vibe whenever you're meeting with your client or your friends or whoever you're working with at that time to bring out a project, it's really important that first you get a connection with them because it really works. Sorry, back to it. <laughs> that pulls people back and they are always like I'll do it next week, I'll do it next month, I'll do it next year. So I think that that thought is is the number one factor of you know stopping that stopping you or start. Because if it, even me like back then I didn't wait to have a camera so that mm -hmm. I, I can start photography. Mm -hmm. I used what I had, I used my network, mm -hmm. people who I knew in the industry who can help mm -hmm. and I reached out to them. I didn't care if they are going to say no or yes. Mm -hmm. um, like even you, mm -hmm. by the way, because mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a part of me, a style of me that I draw inspiration from your work and from even, <laughs> from, even from how we met. Mm -hmm. I think there's that side that I took from you and Help me, you know, mm -hmm. become who I am. Okay. Uh, but this is great. This is great. Uh, finding ourselves. I think every time we do something, it takes me back to 2016 December when we were meeting and we were young guys. We were actually really young guys, very raw in the industry, and we were thrown into one of the biggest production houses. To yeah, I know for sure I didn't have an idea. Really, what? Really well. no, I was looking up to you. <laughs> I, I swear. <laughs> what? What? Yeah. what are you talking about? I, I swear. <laughs> I, 
I, I think if there's a time I really doubted myself, it's the first, first campaigns that we did. Oh, really? I swear to you, because first, I was never used to so many people being around us. Like, I was used to being in my house with my four other friends and whatnot. Then, having a production crew of three vans, me, I'm like, that was the most shocking thing. And I knew it existed, but I wasn't in that space. So, I think allowing ourselves growing even from that point really, really inspired yeah. me. And just to follow that career path, I, did, I didn't want to do weddings anymore. <laughs> Uh, no, no, because you're doing weddings. <laughs> yeah, before, primarily right? I started mm-hmm. as a wedding photographer. Yes, yes. It's, it's crazy you say that because mm. I like even if you remember, like when it's, like, when we met in this production company, mm. you were the main photographer. I was mm. like the second. The first one. photographer, not the main, because I was main on this side, you on this uh, yes, other side. But yes. you were like the main. <laughs> so me, I used to look up to you. Mm. Like you set a standard, so I'm, I need to keep mm. up. Mm. So I, I never set a standard, I was I'm, just I'm, lucky. <laughs> I'm scared, I'm like, oh. <laughs> But I think that brings the point that you're saying, if you are confident enough just to put yourself to try out something, mm-hmm. I think even the people that you are worried about probably won't even get it. Most of the struggles are usually inside your yourself, your thoughts and your heart. And, yes. And I think that's a good call to action, just telling people to... You need to try. You just need to get yourself to a point where you are actually not really doing it perfectly, but just, just do getting it. yourself to just do, do it. it. Sindhu, just do it. That's it. That's it. I don't think there's anything more unless mm-hmm. you have a parting shot you want to give the guys. Ah, parting shot. Uh, uh, let me see. Let me see. Let maybe a quote that I that I. I look up to like ever since high school days and it used it, it actually my physics teacher used to say it mm-hmm. if you know something that um mm-hmm. <laughs> <Just Cut>. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, <laughs> But you got to go to the land of the blind, one eye is king. king. Ah, okay, okay. In the land of the blind, mm. one, one eye is king. Nice, nice. What, what, what's your biggest fear? What, what are you looking forward to achieve in the near future? Do you have any goals in art or anything random that you'd want to achieve? Uh, anything random or anything that comes to the top of my mind, I think I'd love to publish a coffee book. This is, this is something I've been thinking about for the longest time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's that's something that I, I think takes a lot of energy because mm-hmm. I know I have, I need, there's some more things, more work I need to do mm-hmm. that will feature there and also select what I have. It's like putting your mind, yourself, mm-hmm. everyone. So, it. so that's that's scary, but also I, I think it's good. It's something that maybe 